Take a few deep breaths in and out. Your legs can be held straight. Uh, knees bent with the knees pointing to the ceiling, or you can bring the soles of the feet together and let your knees drop to the sides. And if you're in Bhattakonasana with the knees out to the sides, be sure to put blocks underneath your knees. And turn your palms up. And as you rest here on the mat, just begin to take a few deep breaths in and out. Scan your body. Notice the parts of the body that are touching the mat. Notice the difference in the sensations of the body touching the mat and the parts of the body that are not. With each of your exhalations, allow the back body to relax. Let the skin around your face, your neck, your shoulders all begin to release and let go. Bring your awareness to your surroundings. Feel the temperature of the room. Notice the sounds. Notice the scents. The taste in your mouth. And the light behind your eyes. Lift your eyes up to 12 o'clock and make some circles with your eyes. And then lift the eyes again to 12 and circle in the other direction. And then pause. Squeeze your eyes. And release and squeeze and release and squeeze and release. Bring your index fingers to your forehead in little hooks and bring the bring your fingers towards your hairline and draw the fingers from the center of the forehead out towards your temple. And just repeat that action a few times, moving from the forehead to the brow line, and then back up again, applying a little bit of pressure, helping to quiet the mind, helping to set aside those thoughts that love to just pop in to your head. Bring your index finger and middle fingers to your temples. Make circles around your temple.
and then go the other way. And then bring the fingers to your jaws and make circles around your jaws. And then go in the opposite direction. And then just bring the palms together and rub your palms together and place your hands over your face. And take a moment and feel the weight of your hands. Feel the warmth from your hands. And let the heat penetrate the eyelids and soften the skin, especially around your eyes, the corners of your nose and the corners of your mouth. And then bring the palms together again, rub them together and bring your hands to rest at your abdomen. Again, notice the weight and heat of your hands as they rest on the belly. Notice how the hands are placed on the belly. Are they equally situated on the imaginary center line of your body? Do the fingertips touch? Are your fingers close together or spread apart? Just notice. And then with your next inhalation, isolate the breath in the belly and lift the belly up into your hands <clears throat> and exhale. Inhale, draw the breath in and exhale. Take a few more breaths, isolating the breath in the abdomen. Bring your hands to your ribs. And again, just pause for a moment, noticing the placement of your hands. If your thumbs face forward or face back. And then with your inhalation, draw the breath into the rib cage and spread the ribs wide. And then exhale. Inhale, draw the breath in, spread the ribs into your palms, breathe horizontally, and then exhale. And take a few more breaths. And then bring your hands to rest at the center of your chest. And as we've done with the belly and the rib cage, bring your breath into the chest, lift it into your palms. Exhale. Inhale, bring the breath into the chest, spread your collarbones wide. And exhale. Just continue to breathe, breathing into the center of the chest.
Now release your arms down by your sides and let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. Typically during the course of our days, we don't take time to notice the breath because it just comes, it just happens. These few moments in the beginning of practice so we focus on breathing and just um, isolate the breath in various parts of the body. This brings our awareness to breath and the importance of breath. Bring the soles of your feet flat to the floor and just gently rock your knees from side to side. And then you can extend the legs out onto the mat and slide your heels, tap the backs of your legs, crunch and spread your toes. Point and flex your feet. Make some circles with your ankles. And then go the other way. And windshield wipe your legs. Slide your heels again and tap the legs. And then pause and reach your arms up behind you and stretch out through your arms. Press out through the soles of your feet and relax the arms down by your sides. Reach your arms up, take them behind you. Reach and stretch. And then exhale, bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Open and close your hands. Tuck your thumbs under your fingers, make a loose fist, and make some circles with your wrists. And then flip your palms up and point the fingers down. And just wave the hands up and down. And then bring your palms to face one another. And just bend your fingers now bend your bend your knuckles so that you make a little seven shape with your hands and just bring the fingertips towards one another good and then straighten the fingers out and stretch the fingers bring them back together bend your fingers make those little sevens or upside down L's, I guess you could call them. And then spread the fingers wide. And one more time, bring the fingers together, make your little sevens or L's. And then release and shake your hands out. And bring the palms together and interlace your fingers. Take the fingers all the way down to the webbing, even on your thumbs. Reach your knuckles to the sky. And then turn the palms up towards the ceiling. Take your interlaced hands behind you. Press out through your palms. Release the interlace of your fingers and wiggle them. Bring the arms up to the ceiling again with your palms facing each other. Then shrug your shoulders up and bring them down and reach up and bring them down and reach up and bring them down. Hold on to opposite elbows. Lower the arms just above your ribs and make some circles with your arms.
slide your arms to the left and look right. And then slide your arms right and look left. Reach the arms up to the ceiling again. Refold your arms with the other forearm in front, take them behind you. And let the arms rest either on a pillow or blankets or on your forehead. Walk your legs over to the left corner of your mat. Draw your right arm next to your right ear and then all the way over to the left and press up through your heels. And then come back to the middle and take your legs to the right side. Bring your left arm to your left ear. Press up through your heels and draw the arms to the right. And then come back to the middle, bring the folded arms up and make circles, your arms again. And then slide the arms right and gaze left. And slide the arms left and gaze right. Reach your arms up to the ceiling, keep them all the way behind you. Reach and stretch. Point your toes to the pelvic tilt. And then exhale your arms down by your sides and bend your knees. And you can either press yourself up or roll to one side and come up and sit with your legs out long on the mat. <clears throat> and just bring your hands to wherever you can be. <clears throat> Gonna pause here for a moment to release the backs of the legs a little bit. Put the back loosen up some. And then bend your knees. You take them about hip distance apart. Bring your arms through the middle. Press the fingers down and around your back. And then extend your legs and hinge forward. But try and keep your head, neck, and spine in the same place. So lift your head. When you pull down this way, it pulls on the back of your neck when you lower your head this way. And it pulls on the back. So if you keep it in line, it's better for your back and your neck. So just stay in the same plane. And then bend your knees. And reach through. Round your back. And then straighten the legs and come forward again. And then come back up. Cross your right leg and then the left leg in. Take a block or two. And just come forward and let your head rest on the block. And then walk yourself back up. Take your legs long and slide the heels again. And now cross the left leg in and then the right. And take your blocks. And slide forward. Rest your forehead. And then come back up. You can set the blocks aside. Extend your legs out, slide the heels, and just come forward again. So maybe now you can feel like you can come a little bit farther forward, further forward. I always get them mixed up. Come up to flat feet on the floor and just gently rock your knees from side to side. And then let's come on back down on to the mat, pull the leg. So bring your block to here, each to either side of your body. 
and rest your hands on top of the blocks with the base of your palm just hanging off the edge. And then slide the right arm down and slide the left arm down. Bring your feet flat to the floor. And as you press your feet down, press the arms down into the blocks and do a pelvic tilt. And then release everything. Press the palms into the blocks, press your feet down, do a pelvic tilt. And release. And one more time, press the hands down, press the feet, do a pelvic tilt. And release, gently rock the knees again from side to side. Feel the motion, feel the skin, feel the uh, top of the glutes and the sacrum. And then slide the blocks up towards your shoulders and bring your elbows to rest on the blocks. And just let the hands reach back. So front with the elbows on the blocks, lower the hands, backs of the hands towards the floor. Just to get us um, opening across the front of the chest. And then you can release the arms down, slide the blocks away. And then bring your knees into your chest one at a time and rock them in and out gently. Let the knees fall away. Take some circles around the low back and sacral. And then hug the knees in. And let the knees fall away and make circles in the other direction. Hug your knees in and rock them in and out. Keep the knees hugged in, take them about as wide as your shoulders and rock from side to side. Hold on behind your knees and take the legs up and rock the thighs in and out. And then extend your legs all the way up. And then bend your thigh knees, bring the thighs to the ribs. Have your feet flexed as if you're standing on the ceiling. And then point and flex your feet. Make some circles again with your ankles. And go the other way. And then stretch your right leg up. Bring the right leg in and press the left leg up. And switch and switch. So think about being on a stair climber or just climbing the stairs, changing the legs, bending and straightening. And then keep the legs in and rock the legs in and out. And then stretch the legs up again. Hold on behind your thighs. <clears throat> Bring your feet to the floor and extend the legs and extend your arms. And then bring your left thigh in close. Rock it in and out. And then keep your knee hugged in and bring your right, left knee over to the right shoulder. And then bring it over to your left shoulder. Make some circles with your left hip. And then pause, go the other way. And bring your knee in towards your chest. 
Stretch the leg up, hold on behind your thigh. Press your thigh into your hands. And then bring the arch of your left foot to your right knee and take your knee all the way over to the right. Come back to the middle, extend your arms and your legs and stretch your body. And then bring your right knee into your chest and rock it in and out. And then bring your right knee over to your left shoulder. And bring your right knee to the right shoulder. Make some circles with your right hip. And then pause, go the other way. Bring your thigh into your ribs and then stretch the leg up. Bring the arch of your right foot to your left knee and then draw the knee over to the left. Come back up to the middle, bring both feet to the floor. And press your feet, press the back into the mat. And release, press your feet, press your back into the mat. And release, take your feet a little wider. Press your feet, press the back into the mat. And then release and take the feet as wide as your mat. Press your feet, press your back into the mat. And then release, walk the feet back in towards one another. Take the left shin over your right knee, roll open the left hip, and then bring your knees into your chest and gently rock them in and out. Keep the knees hugged in. And then lower the right foot to the floor, cross the left leg all the way over, bring your knees in again and gently rock them in and out. Keep your belly nice and soft. Keep your knees hugged in for a moment. And then lower your right foot to the floor. Take the left hand to a T. Draw your knees to the right. Come back up to the middle, uncross your legs. Take the feet as wide as your mat and rock your knees from side to side. And then bring your feet back to hip distance and take your right shin over the left knee and roll open your hip. Bring your knees into your chest and then rock them in and out. And then keep your knees hugged in. Lower the left foot to the floor, cross the right leg all the way over. Bring your knees back into the belly and rock them in and out. Soften the belly and then draw the knees in. Hold them in for a couple of seconds here. And then lower your left foot to the floor. Take your right arm up to a T and take your knees all the way over to the left. Come back up to the middle, uncross your legs. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Arms up to a T, rock your knees from side to side. And you can rock them pretty deeply this time. So really take the knees deep from side to side. And then take the knees all the way over to the right.
come back up to the middle and take them all the way over to the left. Come back up to the middle, extend your legs, extend your arms, point your toes and do a pelvic tilt. And then exhale your arms down by your sides, bend your knees, roll to one side, and let's sit for a moment or two. Oh, I was getting pretty comfortable down there. <laughs> mm. All right. So just sit comfortably. Bring your hands to your knees. And now it's okay to give your head a little bit of a round because you are warmed up. Okay. So it's okay now to do a little round. <laughs> So with here, from here, we're just going to lower the chin to the chest. Keep your chin tucked in and roll the left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to chest, right ear to right shoulder. Bring your chin to your chest. And then bring your chin parallel. Turn your head to the left. And then turn your head right. Come back to the middle and round your back. And lift your chest. And round. And lift. And round. And lift. And then take the arms out to your sides. And press the fingertips down and release. Reach the arms up, press the fingers down and release. And one more time, reach the fingers up, press them down and release. Reach across the body with the left arm and come back and across with the right and back. And then across and down and across and down again. And then come back to the middle, slide forward. Press down with your palms, lift up your chest. Walk over to your right thigh and stretch through the left arm. And then come back through to the left thigh, stretch through your right arm. And then come back to the center and walk yourself up. Take your left hand to the outside of the right knee and your right hand behind you. Press your left arm against your thigh and twist ribs, chest, and shoulders. And then come back through the center. And again, take this time, take the right hand to the outside of the left knee. Press the hand against the thigh and then twist. And come back to the center, roll your shoulders. And reverse. Inhale your shoulders up, exhale. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Take your legs long and just give them a slide. And then hold on behind your right knee. Bring the right foot into your left thigh. And walk yourself forward. Come back up. Twist to your bent knee. And twist to the straight leg. Come back to the middle and extend both legs. Hold on behind your left knee. Bring the left foot into the right thigh. And walk forward. And then come back up and twist to your bent knee. And then twist to the straight leg. And come back to the middle. Bring both feet to the floor, rock your knees from side to side. 
And then bring the soles of your feet together. Take your hands behind you and let your knees drop out to the side. And then extend the legs and just hinge forward one more time. And then come on back up and let's come on to hands and knees. And just round your back and lift your chest and round. <laughs> And lift and round and lift. And then take your right arm and left leg up. Keep your gaze at the mat and draw your navel up and in. And release. Take the left arm and right leg up. And release. Right arm, left leg. And release, left arm, right leg. And release, and just press back to extended child's pose. And then come back up to table. And if you have any props on your, you can set them all aside. And take your blocks. Let's take the left foot forward because if I do the right foot, I'll be on and stuff. <laughs> so take your right, left foot forward, press down into your blocks, lift up your arm. And then bring your hands to your blocks and slide your hips back, straighten the left leg. And then come forward, reach the arms up. Bring your hands to your heart. Fold forward and then twist, bring your right arm over the left knee. And then bring your hands to your blocks and step your left foot back. And step your right foot forward. Press down into your blocks to lift up and then reach your arms up. Bring your hands to your blocks, slide your hips back and straighten the right leg. And come forward, press down, lift your chest, reach your arms up. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. Hinge forward at your hips and then twist to the right. Bring your left elbow over the right knee. And then come back to your hands on the blocks. Step the right foot back and press your hips back. Leave your hands on your blocks to give your shoulders a little bit of a stretch. And then come up onto your knees, step your feet forward, bring the blocks to right in front of your toes and your hand, shoulders, I mean your hands underneath are slightly in front of your shoulder on the block. Good. Bend and straighten your knees. And then hold, you can release your blocks. Hold on to opposite elbows. Let your head hang down towards the floor. And then just rock from side to side. And then come back to the middle. Press your feet down into the mat. And inhale, come up slowly. And then reach your folded arms up overhead. You can let them rest on top of your head if you like. And then exhale left. 
and inhale up and exhale right. Inhale up. And remember, keep your hips facing forward so you don't tweak your knee and twist right. And come back and twist left. And come back and then release your arms down. Bend your knees and roll your shoulders. Inhale up and exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale. Inhale up, exhale, and inhale up, exhale, and then let's take the arms up, and then exhale and fold forward. Inhale up halfway with a flat back, and then lower down. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the floor, and walk or step your feet back for downward facing dog. <clears throat> and lower one heel and then the other, pedaling the legs. And then come up onto your toes, lift your sit bones up towards the sky, and then lower your heels. Glide forward to plank, press back to downward dog. Look forward to your hands and step your right foot forward. And step your left foot in so that the left foot is on the floor, on the floor completely. And then keep your right knee bent and inhale, come up. You can bring your hands to your thigh first or come all the way up to warrior one. Bring the right arm forward, left arm back, sorry. Reach your arms up. And then take your left arm forward, right arm back. And reach your arms up. Take your arms to your sides. Step your left foot forward and bring your left toe onto the mat. And now just lift the left leg. And bring your left ankle over the right knee. Bring your hands to your heart. And bend the right knee to sit back. Press down into your right leg. Bring your left foot to the floor. Inhale your arms up and fold forward. Inhale up halfway, exhale and lower down. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the floor, walk or step your feet back for downward facing dog. Glide forward to plank. Press back for downward dog. Look forward to your hands and step your left foot forward. And then bring your right foot in so it's on the mat, so that your whole foot is on the mat. Keep the left knee bent. And then inhale, come up in two steps or in one. Reach your arms up. Bring the right arm forward, left arm back. And then reach up. Whoops. Oh, I can't even stand up straight <laughs> on two feet. And then take your left arm forward, right arm back, and come back up. Bring your arms out to your side. Step your right foot forward with the toe on the floor. And now fix your gaze. Find something that's not moving, whether it's on the floor or in front of you. And then just lift the right leg up. You can stay here or take the angle over your shin, over your knee, bring your hands to your heart and sit back. And then press down into your standing leg, bring the right foot to the floor, reach your arms up, fold forward, inhale up halfway. 
Exhale and lower down. Inhale all the way up. And exhale your arms down by your side. Good. Okay. Come to the center of your mat. And let's step the feet wide. Turn your left toes out to 90 degrees. Turn your right toes in. Soften your knee. Turn your thigh and straighten your leg. And then reach your arms out to a T and relax your shoulders. Reach with the left arm, bend into your left hip and bring your hand to your shin. And take the top arm up as long as your shoulder is okay. Otherwise, keep it at your hip. Good. Press down into your feet. Inhale, reach up with the top arm. Wrap the back arm around the back of your waist and reverse your triangle. Come back to arms parallel. Reach back with your back hand. Bend your left knee to warrior two. Good. Reach back with the right hand. Straighten your left leg. Bring your hands to your hips and turn your feet. And then turn your right toes out, left toes in. Soften your knee, turn your thigh. Okay, um, excuse me a minute. Yes. So right now your this heel aligns with your left heel to walk this foot over here. So you want your heel to bisect the arch of your down foot. So a little bit more. Okay. Good. So remember in these poses, um, you want your heel to sort of be in line with the arch of your back foot so that your end, so that your hips actually are in proper alignment. Okay. Yeah. Soften your knee, turn the thigh to the pinky toe side, and then straighten your leg. Reach your arms out to a T. Reach with the right arm, bend into your right hip, and bring your hand to your shin and take the top arm up or at your hip. Press into your feet, reach up with the top arm, wrap the arm around your waist, reverse your triangle. Come back to arms parallel. Reach back with your left arm, bend your right knee. Warrior two. Good. Reach back with the left arm, straighten your right leg, bring your hands to your hips, turn your feet, and then heel toe or hop your feet together. And All right, and then come on back down onto your mat. <laughs> and once you are sitting on the mat, hold on to behind your knees, slowly roll yourself down, bring your knees into your chest and rock them in and out. <clears throat> and keep your knees hugged in, rock side to side. And then bring your feet to the floor. Take a block. And lift your hips up and slide the block underneath your hips. And then lower or um, extend your right leg out onto the mat. You feel a stretch in the front of your hip. And then bring the leg back and then take the left leg out. And bring the leg back. <clears throat> now you can do it with both legs at one time or one at a time again, whichever feels best for you. And then bring the leg back. 
and then press your feet into the floor. Now, I'm going to take us up one more level. If you feel uncomfortable there, just stay where you are with the block at the lowest level. Um, it gets a little bit more intensified as you take the block up, but we're not going to go all the way. So press your feet down into the mat. And if you choose to, you can take the block up to the next level. And just pause here. You can feel the difference in the angle of your body. You should not feel any discomfort in your lower back at all. If you do, take it down a notch or all the way down to the floor. <laughs> We're going to try again, extend the right leg out onto the mat to get a little deeper stretch in the front of your hip. And then bring that leg back and extend the left leg out. And bring the leg back. You can try both legs if you want or go one at a time again. And then bring the legs back. Press your feet down into the mat. Lift your hips up. And just bring the block back to its lowest level. Rest your hips there for a moment. And then draw your hip, your <laughs> draw your knees in towards your chest. Drawing your hips into your chest would be a little bit difficult to do. And then extend your legs up. And just pause here for a moment or two. Focus your attention on your feet. Notice the sensations that you feel as the blood and fluids move from your feet through your shins to your thighs your abdomen. And now bend your knees. Bring your feet to the floor and pause here. And again, feel the reversal of blood flow going from the thighs to your shins and calves back down into your feet. Press your feet down into the floor, lift your hips up, slide the block away. Slowly lower your hips down onto the mat. And then extend your leg and extend your arms. Reach and stretch. And exhale your arms down by your sides and you can prepare for Shavasana. With your body resting on the mat, bring your awareness back to your breath. Relax your legs. Relax your hips. Relax your belly. Mm -hmm. 
Relax your shoulders and your chest. Relax your neck. Let the skin on your face and your scalp be soft. Feel a wave of relaxation cover the entire body. Slowly begin to bring some movement back into your bodies. Wiggle your toes and your fingers. Draw your knees in towards your chest. And slowly roll to your right side and pause there for a moment. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. And a long, slow, complete breath out. And then gently press yourself up to come and sit in Sukhasana. With your hands at the center of your chest, lower the head, reminding us to surrender the busy thinking mind to the wisdom and intuition that resides in the heart. Om um, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. You can join me if you like. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way home. Namaste.